Hello friends, this video on application of integrals part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. So let's take one more example. Here we define the area of the triangular region whose sides have these equations, three equations given. So let's draw this. I have three equations. I drew this by knowing this equation. Actually, you should take some time on this because x equal to 4 is this equation. Correct. Then we have uh, y is equal to 2x plus 1. So 2x plus 1 is this equation. And this guy is y is equal to 3x plus 1 is this equation. So I drew this equation and to find the area of this triangle. Similar thing, we have done the last example. So for that, what we can do is first we can find the points actually. So this point will be 0, 1. I mean, how I found this point? You have to find the point of intersection of all these lines. So you'll get this point as 0, 1. This point you'll get as 4, 13. This point you'll get 4, 9. Okay. Now to find the area of this triangle, what we can do is, area of this triangle is nothing but you integrate this side with respect to x. x varies from 0 to 4 and then you you need not find the point actually just I found it but you need not find because not required and then you find integrate this side with respect to a so you get this area right so you subtract these two you get this area what I'm trying to say is you take this side you integrate with respect to x you get this area or yeah now you take this side, you integrate with respect to x, you get the area in the star region. Correct? What you want is this guy. So let's do this. The area required is this guy, or let's put some values here. Let be this be ABC, B2 points, right? Area is nothing but area of ABC. And that is nothing but if it is ABC, let me put this value D. This is O. That is area of a b d o minus area of a c d o and finding these two is simple a b d o is nothing but you integrate this line a b with respect to x x varies from 0 to 4 minus here you integrate this line with respect to x there is y a c with respect to x and here also expression 0 to 4. Correct. So my for this equation, my line is y is equal to 3x plus 1. So I'll write as 3x plus 1 dx from 0 to 4 minus this guy is 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1 dx 0 to 4. Since everything is same, I can just do like this also. I can subtract also. This becomes integration of 0 to 4 x dx. So this becomes x square by 2, 0 to 4. So this becomes 16 by 2, that is 8. And that is the answer. It's not a difficult question, very simple question. The only thing is you have to plot this line carefully. You have x equal to 4 and this line is how to plot this. The best thing I'll tell you is you first find the point of intersection and then this you draw this point of intersection, draw the lines or you can find the point of it, uh, find some points in this line and draw this line. Once you draw this line, picture is clear. So if picture is clear, 50% of the problem is solved. Then you can write this kind of equations and solve. Let's take one more example where we have to find the area of parabola y square is equal to 4x bounded by its lattice rectum. This kind of question we have done, but the only thing here is we should know what is lattice rectum and we should know what is the equation of lattice rectum. So let us rectum is nothing but my x is equal to a. This line is called let us rectum. So the question is nothing but find the area of parabola y square is equal to 4x between this line, this curve and this line. So I am supposed to find the whole area, right? That is nothing but my area is nothing but area is nothing but 2 into area of area of red region. Why like this? Because these two areas are symmetrical, you know this. So if I find the area of this, I can multiply by 2, I get the whole area. Because I am looking for this area, this 
this curve and this letter set term forms this complete area. Correct. So finding this is simple. We have done this so many times. It's nothing but two into the ratio of y dot dx, and where x varies from zero to a. This is nothing but y is nothing but y is nothing but y square is equal to four x. Y is nothing but two root a root x. Correct or root four x you can say. So I can say that two into two root a root x dx x varies from zero to a. I can take out the two root a common part, so this becomes two into two into root a integration of root x dx x varies from zero to a. So this becomes four root a into x to the power three by two by three by two from zero to a. So you solve this, this becomes four root a into a to the power three by two by three by two. That is, you can say that by three into two. So this is nothing but eight a square. Very simple question. Let's take one more. Example. So in this example, we have to find the red part area. So if you see, this is my f x is equal to cos x square. Cos zero is one. Cos pi by two is zero. Cos x square. To find the area, we define this area, this area, and this area, right? So let's find this area is one. Area of, this is two. Area of three. So my area is nothing but Total area is nothing but area one plus area two plus area three. Correct. So what is a one? A one is nothing but you integrate this guy cos x with respect to dx from zero to pi by two. X varies from zero to pi by two. Plus a two. A two again you integrate the same function, but again please note I am taking the mod of this because this part comes out to be negative, so I am taking the positive of all this, right? So positive of this plus positive of cos x dx x varies from pi by two to three pi by two plus again this part three part mod of cos x dx and this varies from three by two pi to pi. So let's find the value. Cos x dx becomes sin x sin x zero to pi by two. Plus sin x pi by two to three pi by two plus sin x three by two pi two pi, and everything has to be mod. That is the only catch in this question because I'll show you what. So this becomes sin pi by two minus zero. Sin zero is sin pi by two is one plus. This becomes if you see. Sine three pi by two is minus one, and sine pi by two is again one. So minus one minus one plus this guy is sine pi is zero, uh, and sine three pi by two is minus one. So minus minus one. So if you see, this is mod one plus this is mod minus two plus this is mod one. So if you see, if we don't take mod here, the whole thing is zero, but that is not the case. So in this case, we have to take the mod to make sure we get only the positive quantities. So we add only the positive quantities. So the integration part was simple, but the concept here was you just can't add the area. You take the mod of the area because these area comes out to be negative, but actually it is a positive area. Let's take the last example. We have to prove that the curve y square is going to 4x and x square is going to 4y divides the square by the Uh, bonded by x equal to zero, x equal to four, y is equal to four, and y is equal to zero in the three part part. That is, I have this shape already given to me. So this is my square. This is my zero. This is my four comma zero. This four comma four, and this is zero comma. So I have this square. I have these two curves, and to prove that these three areas which we get are all equal, are all equal. That's all we have to prove. So let's do this. So let this area be one, this area be two, and this area be three. So we have to prove that a one is equal to a two is equal to a three. Let's find a one. A one is nothing but you take this component here like this. You integrate this with respect to x. That is y dot dx, and x varies from zero to four. So this is which curve? 
this guy is x square is equal to 4ay. So y is nothing but y is nothing but x square by 4 in this curve, right? This curve I am taking. So this is nothing but integration of x square by 4 dx 0 to 4. That is nothing but x cube by 12 0 to 4. And that is nothing but 6 by 16 by. Let's take a 2. A 2 or let's take a 3 first because a 3 is simple to find. a 3 is nothing but you integrate this curve y square is equal to 4ay with respect to dy. That is x dot dy and y varies from 0 to 4. So x is what here? In this case x is y square by 4. So y square by 4 dy 0 to 4. That becomes y cube by 12 0 to 4 get the same answer. Let's try a2, the typical part. So a2 will be nothing but if you see you take this curve and this curve you subtract this. Right? And you integrate both with respect to x. So I take this guy first, that is I'll take this guy is nothing but if this curve is let's suppose y1 curve and this curve is y2 curve. We will say that y1 dot dx minus y2 dot dx and this is range is from 0 to 4. Correct. So y1 dot dx is this curve. So y is equal to nothing but 2 root x. So I get 2 root x dx 0 to 4 minus y2 is this curve. y2 will be x square by 4. x square by 4 dx 0 to 4. Correct. This is nothing but 2 common x to the power 1 by 2 becomes x to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2. Correct. From 0 to 4 minus this becomes x cubed by 12 0 to 4. So this if you solve this becomes actually 4 by 3 into x to the power 3 by 2 that is 4 to the power 3 by 2 minus this I know 16 by 3. This is nothing but 2 to the power 3. 8, 8 into 4 by 3 that is 32 by 3 minus 16 by 3 that is nothing but 16 by 3. So if you see in all these cases you get same answer and thus I can prove that all these curves are all these um, areas are equal that means these two curves divide the square into three equal areas. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.